Yes. So, any hoodle. Um, any hoodle? Where'd you get that name from? This lady in uh, Victoria, Treacy, or Tressy. I don't know what she is on OnlyFans, fellas, so don't ask me. Yeah, and if you know, uh, drop it in the description <laughs> for research purposes. Research. We need to make sure she's doing this junk, uh, that she's taking this page down, yeah. right? I want to see why they're not letting her in the school. <laughs> Seems unfair treatment. But anywho, she was um, volunteering at her children's elementary school. And fairly cute lady, you know, good looking. No, no, no issue. Right now, the Orange County School District. But they called a conference and basically told her that she cannot volunteer at the school anymore because she has an OnlyFans account. You know what OnlyFans is, Steve? Not a clue. Oh, you good. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. So basically, OnlyFans is a social media account where you can go in and allow people to pay to see you do things Ex you uh, know exclusive content it's, it's not necessarily for porn that, but well, I'll, 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 I'll let it go i'll, I'll let it go. say do yeah. things that you might <laughs> well, not necessarily go, see okay. there you go so that's that that's actually tame yeah that's, that's not actually bad. tame that's that's a. Uh, but you know they do other stuff um, on there that you won't, wouldn't see on a regular mainstream uh platform shall we call it in england what Pussy bait. <laughs> there you go. That so that's basically what, what you want to call it. Um, but they're basically telling this woman what she does in her private life to pay her bills or whatever. She can't volunteer at the school anymore. What are your thoughts about that? Um, I'll tell you my first thought. I'm trying to think of a polite way to put it. To be perfectly <laughs> honest. Which is, I mean, it, obviously it shouldn't be the case. <clears throat> Sounds like discrimination on in the workplace to me. Here's my who went searching, but it's volunteer, so it's not a workplace. Who, who went? Who you're went volunteering. searching for her on the OnlyFans? That headmaster was looking. But he was looking. Oh, I bet he was the headmaster. <laughs> that I mean, who? How do you know she has an OnlyFans? If you're so far against it, who found it? Who went and told? Only on, <laughs> I got a couple of links I can send you guys. You can check it out. After. It's like what? What's your login, Jack? It, it's not like she was a part of uh, of the KKK. Um, <laughs> yes, or or uh, what's the other one? That other crazy organization is it? Nambla. Oh, no, North no, American no. Man Boy Love Association. I don't, I don't yeah, know some that crazy that. Man Boy Association. Yeah, exactly. What have you been looking at online? I'm just telling you this. Well, crazy. How do you know all this stuff? Then, because the people are crazy. You got to make sure that folks aren't unassociated. But if there were some part of some, I don't know, some cult, devil worship, something or another, I don't know, maybe. But do you think it makes? A, fans, do you think it makes a difference? Who would know? No one would know. What she's well, doing. somebody did because obviously somebody's got an account where they so, somebody has an account and somebody went and told. Yeah. Um, this is like that person in my thoughts, that person that's so anti anti homosexual and LGBT and all of yeah. that. And then you find out that they've been in the closet the whole time. It's like, bro, I'm so glad my kids aren't in school anymore. Yo, they... Me too, bro. Hey, when my kid graduated, I see all I mean, Honestly, he'll, he'll, he'll tell you, I used to go into that school. I right? hated dealing with those The folks. only time I would go to the school is when he's playing basketball. Well, and I was proud of him playing basketball because there was two or three white kids on the team. The rest were African Americans, and I thought, well, "Good for you." Son. Right. Well, and and the other time, I used to sit down and listen to these parents moan, listen about to nothing. about just everything else, and how much money their husbands were making. That was making six figures. Is me struggling to keep the office open at the time, and I'm like, Jesus. When he left school, I was so glad he left. So, yeah. just because we were on the top, I was going to wait till the end to bring it up. But did you notice just now, James? What did he call the principal? Did you did you catch that? Oh no, I didn't. What did you say? I don't know what to call the headmaster. Yeah. Oh yeah. Have you heard any other school call a principal the headmaster? No, I have not. It's an English term. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say it's an English term. It is an English term. It's a racist it? term too. <laughs> it is. Headmaster. Well, master. Headmaster. Yeah, headmaster. Headmaster. Well, that, well every, you know they don't say school in England is called has got a headmaster. Well, they say they don't say master bedroom anymore, right? It's a primary bedroom, even in real estate, they've changed it. So yeah, oh, really? and, and and what I'm saying, this isn't like me just making it up, being some snowflake. My school, I'm not even gonna dox them. I'm that nice. I could I could drop their name, but my school that I went to in the past year has every 
person of color that I went to school with has been on that Facebook page blasting them about how systemically racist that school is. Really? And they've been, and it's it's flipping awesome because they're tagging the teacher's accounts directly. So say a uh, teacher, Joe Schmo, they're saying at Joe Schmo, when I was in your biology class, I saw you do this. And then right after you went to a white kid and did this. And then that teacher's like, oh, I never meant to do that intentionally. They're like, yeah, but you did it. And even though you didn't do it intentionally, which makes it worse, you right. did it unintentionally because that's just what you're used to. And that's not an excuse. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, just going back I to... I didn't even know that headmaster <coughs> was a racial term. Well, that school is also racist. It's uh, historically racist. But anyways, moving on, because he said headmaster. I was, right. like, I was like, I have to bring that up because that's just insane. <sighs> but but here's the thing. I don't think people at that school say headmaster to be racist. It's it's like um, it's, the master bedroom. For them. It's yeah. indoctrinated. That's well, just what you right. And the other part is, in, in all fairness to them, I mean, it's based on a Scottish-style school, correct? I mean, no one from that school is really Scottish. No, they're not, but it's sort of a Scottish style of school and... So Regardless what you say, people, even some local celebrities, speak very highly of that school. You know, I don't think it's as high as which I think is a it very should be, but unfair, disingenuous. He doesn't keep. I mean, if it's racist, it's racist. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Period. No matter who I speaks don't see that as racist personally, but well, I mean, it's well, so, so, so you can see it as not racist, or you can take the kid who went there from kindergarten through twelfth grade every day. And trust him. No, that no, when he no, said no, 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 and, yeah. I, and I do, but I mean, myself, <laughs> did I see elements of what you're talking about? Yes. Was some of the incidents that happened on a plane? I know what you're talking about. I don't see how it's related, though. <laughs> but it's it can. I mean, shoot, just the did fact that if you. Story? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah he knows. We did. Okay, yeah. Yeah, good, yeah. Well, we're not going to mention that on. Of course not. Because it's of course you know, not. But I mean, it's next to filth. This this Florida chick here, she's not the first one to get banned from from a uh, an OnlyFans interaction. There was another lady that was making like a hundred fifty k. Is that a big site? That OnlyFans? I mean, oh yeah, it's huge. So it's huge. my gr my girlfriend, my best friend's girlfriend, does this. She and makes, makes money on it. She makes ten thousand dollars a month on it. Jesus Christ! Because there's that many creeps out there that just want to see ladies, you know, do yep. stuff to themselves. And she works at a dispensary. This is like something she does on the like when she gets home. Yeah. So she goes, serves weed during the day, goes home, takes a couple pictures of herself, talks to some weirdos, 10, 10 racks. Ten so grand. So if you want to export yourself out there, hey, I'll be it. I'll stick to real estate. 